appreciates it too. How to have a happy marriage. Rana and Kelly. and Suina. Thank you. Marriages are made in heaven, but suffered on earth. Today we are here to make you comfortable with that suffering. Today we are presenting Top 10 Laws of Happy Married Life. But why today? Because today we are completing 6 years of togetherness. Only 6 years is not a big deal. Yeah, but my Janu, actually Janu is a, a Indian sweetheart. So uh, you will keep listening that Janu. So Janu, if we give same speech after 60 years of age, people will ignore us and they might be thinking that it's a generation gap and that old couple don't know anything. Okay, okay, I got it. So let's start. Yeah. I am King Kailas. I am Sweet Suvarna. I am a man from Mars. I am a woman from Venus. I think by brain. I think by heart. I am an extrovert. I can make relationships easily. I am introvert. I can keep relations longer. I am a... I am, I am thinking about holidays. I am thinking about retirement. Yeah, but I am the perfect man. Oh man, we are totally different. Yes. That's yes, my Janu. We are different and that's why we are together. Actually, that, that makes our first, first law of happy marriage life. life. That is, we are together by our differences. differences. Because we can have differences in opinion, thoughts and style of handling same things. Would you ever allow me to speak? Why are you are stopping, always stopping me from speaking? Because you never give me chance to speak. I think you have no sense of speaking in public. Okay, okay, stop before our baby starts crying. <laughs> yeah, actually we just wanted to show that, how that argument gone. So, that is our law, law number second. That is... Never, Never use extreme words like ever. Never. Zero percent. Hundred percent. Always. Because those are never, never true. So don't use that in your marriage life. Okay, let's move. Yeah. One of the day, it was Friday actually, I decided I promised her to reach by 5 p.m. Because since last three days, I was coming late and by 7 p.m. and the reason was same. Boss called me at the last moment. <laughs> yeah, but was to come. That day, even I promised to reach by 5 p.m. Even I reach, I promised to reach by 5 p.m. I reached by 7.15. And after thinking for 15 minutes, I made courage to knock the door and when the door got open, the situation was like that. She had wooden stick in hand. Is it five o'clock? Uh, no, but I started. Yeah, but 4 p.m. No, no, no. But do you know what happened? It was so much traffic on the road and cars couldn't even move. And there must be some big accident happen on the road. Okay, okay. Do you have car? No. Have you came by taxi? No. So how do we know about traffic? Oh. Yeah, actually I saw it from train window. Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Sorry. And that's how she started laughing and wooden stick came down. And that Saturday, Sunday. That we all, that became enjoyed never before. Yeah. So that makes
makes our law number three. Make humor as a part of your life. Life is not so serious. Take it with fun. Handle it with fun. Now, let me move on. Law number four. And especially for men, be creative. Because, let me show you. If I want to, sh I want to say, I love Madonna and I like Madonna in front of her. So let's see how I handle that situation. Hi, Jalu. Hi. Actually, you look like. Oh, sorry. Madonna look like you. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Yes. See how I manage it. Be creative. It works days and night. And with creativity, just fly in the sky. Listen, k come down on earth. Okay, I know you have attraction about Madonna, but I know you couldn't, can't reach to her. I'm just thinking when you are talking about neighbors and friends. So, it is our rule number five. Give them freedom and come keep control in your hand. <laughs> yes, yes, I. And that's how it goes on. In, since 2012, we got married. But we never fall in love. Yes, we never fall in love. We just rise and flourish and dazzle in love. In 2013, you gave me a wonder girl, Yakshita, directly came from heaven. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. In 2016, you gave me another letter in That was not possible without you. Thank you for that. So, that time we decided. That time we decided to be a good parent. Yeah, and that time I became a father of two girls. I decided to become responsive father. I decided to be man of team character. I forgot about all the Madonnas from my life. Same here. That time I also decided to be a loving and caring mother. Yeah, that's you are proving nice. But that makes our law number six. Take half credit and full responsibility. What? That happens. Jalu? Let's move. Let's move. Yeah. Can you tell when we do romance, why we close the doors? Of course. Nobody can enter and see us. So my friends, nobody can enter and see us. Make your married life as a full-time romance. Nobody should able to see problems between you both, which you can solve. And nobody else's opinion should enter in your relationship. Because other people can think only about solutions. But you both, you both can think about love, compassion, and, and commitment. After that, if you move forward. That is our law number seven. Make, make all time full privacy in your married life. So nobody can see your problems. Janu, can you tell our law number eight? Accept your partner as he or she is. Yeah. Are you agree with that point? That is perfect point. Accept your partner as he is. Yeah. Everybody is agree on that. But my friends, let me tell you. Let me make it more simplistic and realistic. Accept your partner with your in-laws. <laughs> Don't get serious. It's a realistic. Yeah, it's true. Marriage is not between two, he and she. Yeah, 
marriage is between two families, two customs. If you can support, you can support your in-laws, then I will support you for life long. Yeah. When you accept your in-laws, yeah. then <laughs> I can ignore your loud snoring. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you accept, you, you support your in-laws, then I can accept your talking while sleeping because we made the law. And why not? Even though constitution and law says that they are in-laws, but why can't we make the decision to make them in-heart? Because they deserve it. Thank you, Janu. Let's move. Yeah. And yeah, Janu, do you remember once we had a role play? Yeah, I know. Because that uh, given, uh, that even uh, didn't, even work. didn't even work in 50 minutes when you saw Sink in a uh, recession thing. Yeah, I am really sorry about that. Thank you very much for taking care and supporting my dreams and my life. You are my life, my life. Even though in the corporate world, we say that. Everybody can be replaced, but in your relationship, but in your real life, nobody can be replaced. And especially, definitely, you cannot be replaced. Thank you very much. Yeah, same here. Your partner has a feeling, emotion, give them value and time. Right. And? That makes our law number? Law number nine. nine. Make relationship as your first and most important business. And let's move on law number 10. Last but not least. Yes. Because that law you have to define by your own. Let's, let's do exercise. Yeah. Could you please raise your right hand and Put on your heart. Now, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Think about your loving partner. And come up with, come up with that one word that makes your relationship improve, that will empower your relationship. Now, you can open your eyes. And Keep thinking about that. Discuss with your partner that. By the way, what is your one word, Janu? Support. I'm supporting you up to the last moment of my life. Yeah, thank you very much. For me, for me, it's a dream. That one word is dream. Some days back, I asked her, Janu, what is your dream? And she was not able to say her dream. I realized that. Because my dream has to come true. My life has to be successful. She has forgotten her dream. So for me, that empowering and encouraging word is a dream. And I make her as a part of Toastmaster. I started involving her in my day-to-day -day life and in the profession as well so that she will find her own dream. And that's it. Thank, Thank you, you very much for all of you for giving this opportunity.